Hey guys, so today I will be telling you more about pressure, today focusing on pressure on a liqu liquid at rest. So, pressure in a liquid, there are two main things that you need to know, and these are in the pictures A and B, and I underline them, okay? So, pressure increases with depth, and the same pressure at the same depth, so you definitely need to know this and to explain this. These pictures I took from the AQA webs um, page or website and these things I just added. So why does the pressure increase with depth? Well, if you guys remember when you spoke about pressure and atmospheric pressure and all these things, you saw that the deeper down you go, so the lower you go, the more particles you have above you, right? So if I'm at this height or depth in this bottle of water, I have more particles above me than if I'm in this very first hole. So what happens? Each particle uh, has a mass and therefore it generates a force over a certain amount of area. Pressure is force over area. So the force over area here on the top is less than the force over area, meaning the pressure, here on the bottom because I have more particles applying force into whichever particles are here, okay? So less particles above means that I have a lower pressure, more particles above mean that I have a higher pressure, okay? And you can easily do this at home. If you get a bottle uh, of water, so an empty bottle first, draw some holes in at different depths or heights if you want, and you are going to see that um, if you release all the holes at once, so you can put some tape and then take it at once, you are going to see this sort of pattern where uh, the water is being ejected further due to a higher pressure, lower down, so at a higher depth than at the top, okay? And then the other thing very important that you need to know about pressure in, a, in terms of a liquid is that the same pressure is applied at the same depth. And now this makes sense because, again, remember, pressure is force over area. So if you are at the same depth, you have the same number of particles or roughly the same number of particles above you exerting a force for the area that they are applying the force on, okay? So because the number of particles above is the same, the pressure, the force over area is going to be the same for that depth. And again, you can get a second bottle of water and you can draw holes now all at the same depth and again, or at the same height, get some water, then untape the holes at the same time or um, uncover the holes at the same time and you're going to see this sort of pattern which is the water is coming off at the same um, pressure because the pressure is the same at the same depth, okay? So remember, pressure increases with depth to the, due to the amount of particles above that, um, that part, so that height or depth and pressure is the same as the same depth, okay? Now, Imagine that I have this situation. I have here two different liquids or two different density liquids. I have water and oil. Now, because pressure needs to be the same at the same depth and A and B are at the same depth, think about it. Oil is less dense than water. So what happens is because it's less dense, it applies less force over a certain amount of area or for the same amount of area, right? So if I want to apply exactly the same pressure in A and B, I actually need to have a higher height or a higher, um, I don't even know how to call it, height really, or a higher volume of uh, oil or then in water on top of A, okay, to get the same pressure in A and B. So the greater the density of a liquid, the greater the pressure in the liquid. B, water, is denser than A, oil, and therefore, because it's denser, it applies more pressure. I don't need as much amount of water on top of B as I need of amount of oil on top of A. And this is, again, because oil is less dense than water. So oil will need to get the same amount of pressure to have more particles in order to exert the same force over the surface area, okay? So it is written here so you can write it down. Oil is less dense than water, so greater depth of oil is needed to create the same pressure. Remember, A and B are at the same pressure. The greater the depth, the more force for the same contact area as there are more particles above. So because I have a greater depth and the surface area is the same, if I want to increase the pressure, I need to increase the force. And the only way to do that is getting more particles in, okay? So I hope that made sense as well. 
Now, imagine that I want to know the pressure of a liquid column. So I want to know the pressure at any height. I can use this formula that says that P equals H times rho times G. P is the pressure in Pascal or Newton per meter squared. H is the height in meters. So the height or the depth where I have that, um, that particle or the, where I'm trying to measure the pressure. Okay. Rho, this symbol that is not a P, this is a rho is the density, the density of that liquid that I have in kilograms per meter cubed. And G is the gravitational field strength, which is 9.81 newtons per kilogram. Now, of course, if I would be doing this experiment in the moon, instead of getting G to be 9.81, I would have G to be 1.6. So G depends on the planet or on the place where you are, okay? So pay the attention in that. But if they don't say anything in the questions, you will assume that everything is happening on Earth. So with this formula, I can figure out anything that I want. So imagine that they give me the density and the, uh, and the height. I can figure out the pressure. And again, you can change the numbers for height and you will see that pressure increases with depth. Okay. So, um, as I was going to say, so you can uh, be asked, for example, something such as in, uh, what is the height where I'm going to have a certain pressure and you just rearrange the formula P over rho times G, or they can ask you what is the pressure at a certain height and you just apply the formula, um, in this particular order. So with this rearrangement, okay. So that formula, I actually do not remember if you need to know it by heart. I actually think that if you're doing AQA, they give you. But this is the formula that I can figure out the pressure at any point on a liquid column. Okay. So you know everything that you need to know about pressure in liquids. So I just have here a real quick riddle that is not for me, um, that I just got it on the internet and uh, is for you to think about it. So which tank will fill up first? And remember, a liquid is going to flow until the pressure along the same horizontal level is constant. So something like this, okay? Something is not going to fill up more like this and the other like that. The pressure must be the same if it's the same liquid, okay? So think about it. And if you want to know the answer, go on this video to which the link I'm going to put in the description, okay? So uh, good luck with the riddle and up to my next video. Be happy and healthy. Bye!